<laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hey wonderful friends, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another week here at Grace Doing Things. Today we'll be talking about possibly the scariest climb I've ever tried outdoors. This is Nasal Slip, an extremely sketchy and well-known slab located in the Spittle Hill area of Castle Hill in New Zealand. It's about three to five meters tall and you can't really tell from this angle, but it is extremely slabby. It is graded at a V4, but I would grade the scare factor as V1000 because it is such a terrifying experience. There are essentially no handholds and the way you fall if you do manage to slip off is pretty much down a hill and then you just kind of keep rolling after you land. The other part is that the footholds are absolutely tiny. The only nice hold is this big pocket at the start and then after that all the footholds are around one centimeter in depth or even smaller than that. So you have to press really really hard on your toes and focus on not slipping off. So I want to preface this video by saying that I actually don't have any footage of me trying the climb for the first few times because I was concentrating so hard that I didn't even realize that my camera battery had died. So the only footage that you'll see is going to be probably my third or fourth attempt. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, I'm in the wrong place. Yep, you got it. Thanks. This one too. Mm -hmm. You're all the way up on that. Yeah, really. And then up, up, up. Oh my god, what just happened? Okay, so I just tried to do this V4 and I fell all the way down. I was extremely scared, but I committed. The whole thing is slow. <sighs> I'm legit just like shaking from falling from this giant slab. Oh my God, climbing is scary. Especially with my foot. Are you recording horizontal? Yeah, I am. Yeah, we're gonna try it one more time. Maybe I'll trust my foot a little bit more every time and fall down. But the only time, the only thing that happened was I hit my hip bone a little bit, but it was fine. Okay, I'm taking a mental and physical break while Yossi gives it a go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now the lower one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, honey! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! He absolutely killed it. This definitely inspired me, so here's me giving it another go. Again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. And then lower, lower. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then up again. Yep. Yeah. And then stand in, left foot. So you, got, you got, just trust it, just trust it. Just trust it, baby. Yeah. One more right foot. Yep. Yeah. And then up to the top. That's really good. Go, go, go. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Well done. Holy s**t. Well done. <laughs> we made it. Okay, well done. 
foot as well. Like you just fully like slipped as you hit it. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> I'm dead. What? <laughs> Hi. Yay, we made it. I was extremely shook that I did, but I'll just let myself speak. Just did my first V4 in Castle Hill. Falling was the scariest part, and I kept picturing myself like tumbling down the rock but that didn't happen i just literally well, i didn't tumble like this i just sort of like like that and yeah it hurt my hip a little bit but other than that i'm fine which is good it's good um slab confidence anyway i did it and yes hope you enjoyed watching me fall down this freaking giant thing <coughs> yay so I just want to talk a little bit about the whole experience. It's such a vivid memory of me trying to put my foot on what seems like nothing. Honestly, the whole time I was on the climb, my foot felt like it was using like the very, very tip to like stay on. And I just don't even know because it's like the very tip of my big toe. Can't even fathom how I did that. There's so much to this climb. The beta seems quite simple. You know, you just walk up all the way to the top until you get there. However, because the footholds are so small, you're questioning every time you put your foot on anything. And then once you get past a certain point, you can't jump down anymore because there are literally no handholds. It's so slabby that there's nothing to grip on. So the next option is you either continue and trust your feet and then like stand up off like a really bad foothold to another bad foothold that is higher than your current foot or you slip off. And what had happened in the third attempt was I'd gotten a little bit impatient. So I actually skipped a foothold because I was like, if I just make this really big step, I can reach the top and it's a jug. So that worked well in my brain, but what had actually happened was the foothold was way too high for my foot and I didn't have enough like hip flexibility. And I also didn't have enough confidence to stand up off that next foot and like stand up straight because you still have to stand into the wall or else you kind of fall back or that there's that mental imagery of you falling off and tumbling off the slab. So what I'd done instead was just stand up with half effort and then just slowly slide down. And so I just think that in itself is such a unique experience. It really challenged me so much. And I think it's something that I'll probably remember for the rest of my life. And even watching someone climb it on video does not equate to the feeling that you get when you're on the climb because, oh my goodness, it's just insane. We spent the rest of the time uh, just walking around and the sun was setting and it was beautiful. Then Yossi suggested that we go and slide down on our pads on this hill. So here's us walking really far away so we can slide down the hill and it was super fun. We're on our way home now, but holy, look at this. You can see all the snow in the background. It's insane. We finally made it to Castle Hill and we climbed for a whole day. And the time went by so quickly, which is insane. But I am very lucky, very lucky. <laughs> we are very lucky to be in probably one of the most beautiful places in the world as you can see right now like literally it's like a postcard this is a postcard you should like stop it and caption it and it's like postcard yeah like, yeah, like, <laughs> you're like, this is I, I will do that actually <laughs> <laughs> but yeah if you ever come to Christchurch and go climbing get a guidebook hire some pads and go climbing because it's actually pretty, even if you don't climb, it's like, wow. The rocks, they look insane. So today was a success. Was it a success? Yes. Yeah, it was a success. <laughs> but seriously, look at the postcard situation right now. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Bye.
apparently it's three degrees outside. Okay, what? Well, ignore. Look at this. Three degrees at 4.51 here. It's been like, I don't know how many minutes, but like a few minutes and it's already <laughs> minus one degree outside.